will be pure and utter chaos. Yes, it's already getting there right now. Yeah, it's um, yeah, we're super excited. Obviously, you know, Sony, my tunes have really changed. On, I've always loved kids. The, the Correct. me I mean, not right liking right. kids that was kind of a little shtick that that yeah. I put on. Like, yeah. a, I was a like kindergarten kid, teacher. Really means it, like, where you were just you're playing along. Yes, I love kids. That that was just kind of something that came up, and I just ran with it. But the truth was is that we were never really planning on having kids that was that was something when i when i started that i'm like oh no we, we don't want kids we we're super content with our lifestyle but then something really changed and we realized wow we have we've done a lot already with just the two of us and we were ready for something um something more so uh, a new adventure on the way we yes. have name picked up oh my gosh no i have not even been thinking we've thought of all the names we don't like like we throw out the we the, the names that we, we yes. don't want but we haven't honestly oh, oh, i know one of those oh no we can't do that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. oh that person was, no no, I don't no, like no. That person. Yeah. so we haven't actually <laughs> thought about names we do want at all no that will come later i think mm -hmm. yeah so do we uh um, Reveal the sex oh, it's world. a baby girl. Okay. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Yes. Colin will be one lucky. Oh, my gosh. Dad. I thought we were going to have one of those gender reveal parties that go no. wrong. And Heather has to oh report it in her own news. Oh, my gosh. gosh. There'll be a disc and a disc golf course. Yes. They'll throw the disc. It'll either be pink or blue. Gosh, uh, we should have done that. No, we did not do a gender reveal. But I'm telling the way we did our gender reveal for the two of us was a really cool moment. I never told you guys about it. We did it at dinner. We just went out to dinner one night, had the envelope, but there was a there was a table next to us. There was four people sitting at the table. I would love to thank this this table because they kind of got in on the action. Because of course we were sitting outside, so we were a little bit louder when we opened the envelope. We were really excited, um, hugging and things like that. And they kind of overheard and they they got in. They're like, oh my gosh, did you just find out what you're having? And they were asking us some questions. And there was a gentleman at the table when I got up to walk away. He came over and gave me a hug. I, somebody, I've never met him. And then he gave me 20 bucks, which was really strange. And I thought, I can't take your money, sir. And he's like, take this. I want this to be the first money you put into either her college fund or her Europe fund. And uh, it was just a really, really, That's really smart Yes. And we talked about that with, that ta with the table, too. And it was a, a really sweet moment that
pitcher is a strikeout. That's the kind of teammate Bet MGM is. Discover their innovative parlay selection, builders, daily promotions, boosted odds, specials, and much more. Download the app or go to betmgm.com and use the code STONY100. Get $100 when you bet $1 on any Tigers game this season, regardless of the outcome of your wager. And you still put the games left. I mean, you all just get all the stuff.
by August 15th for a health plan, paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The morning rush can be a beautiful thing. With the red granola bar, that is. Take a moment and take in the outdoors with Nature Valley Crunchy Bars. Your opinion matters. Call the D Las Vegas 
goes right along with it. In fact, it might even be that exact same truck. It doesn't sound like it, but it very well could be. So after spending 16 days behind bars, there is a Canadian trucker who is accused of smuggling almost 2,500 pounds of marijuana into the U.S. that has been freed. And it's all because it was determined that the driver actually had no idea what he was transporting. So this driver literally did not know that he had all of this marijuana in there. So the truck driver maintained his innocence the entire time he was behind bars. He said he had no idea, no idea weed was in the truck, but he believed that he was transporting coil rings. That's what was on the, the memo. Yeah. Um, his lawyer says that some slick marijuana dealers actually hacked into the tr uh, trucking company's computers. They created a fake order for those coil rings, and then they filled the truck with marijuana instead. And I guess now with some COVID protocols, the driver stays in the vehicle while the truck is being loaded. So the driver stays there. He goes to the warehouse, wherever he was sent to, picks up these coil rigs or yeah, right. all of this marijuana. The truck's filled. He makes sure the truck is locked afterward, and then he's on his way. So he he literally didn't know what was being shipped. Which is so crazy. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, smart criminals. There are, well, yeah, yeah I'm, sure I'm sure they're going to be they're caught, caught for sure. Yes. Um, Kathy Griffin, you guys, is recovering from surgery after revealing on Monday that she was diagnosed with lung cancer. So the comedian took to social media. She shared the news earlier in the, earlier in the day, adding that she has also never smoked. So on social media, she said, um, I've got to tell you guys something. I have cancer. I'm about to go into surgery to have half of my left lung removed. Yes, I have lung cancer, even though I've never smoked. And then she added that her cancer is contained to her left lung and is in stage one at this point, and that her doctors are very optimistic. Which well, is, they found it. They found it early yeah. enough. 